If you want to know what investors like Warren Buffett are buying and selling, just watch this video. I'll show you exactly how it's done. If you track the performance of certain fund managers, you see a wide variance in between those who are successful and those who are not. Those few who have done well over a long period of time are few and far between. As a result, investors are always trying to find out what stocks these investors are buying and selling. I'll show you the easy way to find out. You came here for the truth, so let me unveil that for you. Today, we are going to look at precisely how to figure out what institutional investors, what the big guys like Warren Buffett have bought and sold. It's very easy. You know, many people, when they want to know what stocks to buy, they start to look out to their favorite analysts, their favorite talking heads in the media. Maybe it's Jim Cramer. If you go to any of these trading floors, you tend to see... NBC up on the television and whether they are conscious or not they're hearing Jim Cramer they're hearing those in Bloomberg talking and letting them know exactly what they think investors should buy you have other people watching Warren Buffett and everything that he buys instantly becomes a great opportunity. And then there are others who look to websites like Seeking Alpha, for instance, and they try to see what the best opportunity is and what they're being sold on. But as far as I'm concerned, we can simply look into it for ourselves and see exactly what these big institutions are buying. We don't have to wait for those personalities on television to do the reports on them. We'll just see it for ourselves. The SEC, the Securities and Exchange Commission, has all the information that we need. So you have all these big companies out there and they need to report the data of their buys and sells to the SEC and it's made public. So we don't have to guess. We don't have to go to Bloomberg to find out. We can just dig into it for ourselves. That means we get the information faster and we get it more accurately because it's not going to be censored. We're going to see exactly what we need to. So let's go further into this today and I'll show you the details. First, I want to tell you exactly what the 13F is. SEC Form 13F is a quarterly report that is filed by institutional investment managers with at least $100 million in equity assets under management. It discloses their U.S. equity holdings to the SEC and provides insight into what the smart money is doing. So we're looking at medium size to large firms, what exactly they're buying. You're going to see all the percentages of which, what they bought and sold. The only thing is that we are finding out the information from the previous quarter. You could not find out exactly day to day what they're doing, but at least it gives us insight into what they did and what their current holdings are. Who should file an SEC Form 13F? Firms that are required to file 13Fs include mutual funds, hedge funds, trust companies, pension funds, insurance companies, and registered investment advisors. The SEC publishes a list on a quarterly basis of the 13F securities that must be included in the filing. So all the information you need to know for that particular company, it's there. I'm going to show you the easiest ways to get that. But first, if you want the 100% unedited raw data, all you got to do is go to a search engine and type in the name of the company you're interested in looking up and then 13F, 13. F. And when you go there, you'll be able to scroll through and find different websites that give you the 13F. But if you look specifically, you can find even websites like MarketWatch that will go into this and show you their breakdown. Or we can go through this, look at the actual sec.gov website. When I open this up, it's going to give me some details, but there's just one issue. It's so difficult to navigate this website. It's hard to find. It doesn't have a search feature, but it's the raw data. So if you want that information, it's there for you and it is accessible to the public. So you type in the name of the company and then 13F. 
that's going to give you what you need. But there have been several websites that have opened up over the years and they actually take all of these 13 F's and they start to aggregate that data and make it extremely easy for you to get what you need. They have search features. They make it really accessible to say the least. So if I go to, for example, whalewisdom.com, I can see everything I need to on this site as well as the others I'll show you. And there's a search bar where you can go and type what you need. For example, RIT Capital. And then you could see how it automatically provides a search for me. And then I bring it up and it will give me the details of that within here. So I could see what their top buys, their top sells, their 13F holding summary and so on. All of that is here with charts and everything. So it's fantastic. Then we have fintel.io and the same way if I search right in the bar at the top I can look this up and see exactly what this company has been up to. So when I click on it, you'll get more details of it. Again, charts, analysis, their 13F. You could see everything that's here, their percentage change. Everything is then able to be organized by whichever column you desire and so on. And then we have holdingschannel.com. It works the same way, but basically I use all three of them because the way that they organize the data is all different. And I like to pull information from each of these three. There are many more. These are the three I tend to use. So that right there gives us an exact breakdown of exactly what these companies did in the previous order. We are going to be able to find out what they bought, what they sold, the percentages, how many shares they own, and so on of all these different companies. And I really advise people to check it out. You can see which companies of the big ones own all of these different stocks. So you can see what the big names are buying based on the stock or based on the company holding that stock. It's really good to see this. It gives us an idea, some further insights, and you could make some changes in your trading, perhaps based on what you like and who you agree with and maybe you could see any trends that are developing you don't want to just look at the site one time and make a decision this is something that you periodically check you're always looking at these sites to be able to determine that information I'm gonna end the video there if you found it informative please give me a thumbs up when you give me a thumbs up you're supporting this channel so I do appreciate that and if you want the financial information that was not provided to you throughout your education well then these two have everything that you need from the foundation the history History. I'm talking about everything from top to bottom. Check them out at the link in the description. If you want the audiobook, you can get that at themoneygps.com.